Blake Shelton's leaving the voice, but he's gearing up for more stiff competition on Barmageddon. It is your extra sneak peek into Blake's brand new television playground. Hey, extra, welcome to Barmageddon. Welcoming our Alicia Davis into his very own bar in Nashville, The Voice's beloved good old boy has invited his celebrity pals in and created some racy new bar games. That's very provocative the way you're holding that. We have just the tip. We have foreplay. Keg um, curling. Keg curling. It's hard not to smile when we say the names of these games. We got um, Aaron Sharks. Cornhole. Sharks. Sharks. How do Sharks you forget Sharks? It's, it's Shelton Darts. No, it's ah. called sharks. sharks. We got some beer goggles for you all. Oh, this yeah. is wrong. This is like when you agreed to marry Blake Shelton drunk. <laughs> <laughs> WWE Hall of Famer Nikki Bella will referee the bar games while Blake and his band take the stage and his old buddy from the voice Carson Daly's Tendon Bar. How in the world did you become the bartender? Well, I've done some, uh, some bartending in my life uh, and I like to talk a little smack and I like to keep a little barrier between me and the people that I'm talking to. <laughs> so that, that worked out nicely. I am upset that you're leaving the voice. It, it was I very upsetting. Too. How did you decide that now was the right time to leave The Voice? I made the decision to leave The Voice probably a couple of years ago, and it was just then just actually doing it. It was like I knew it was time. I knew that I needed to, you know, take a step back. It's just completely taken over my life. It's been the greatest thing for my career ever. It's been a blessing. But it was just, it's just time. But the, but the trouble with it is, is walking away from this team that has counted on me for all these years to, to be there. And, and, and so I just wanted to be sure I did it at the right time where I didn't leave people hanging and then COVID happened and that would have been a bad time to walk away, so. How did Gwen respond when you told her that you were gonna leave oh, the voice? She knew before anybody, you know. Listen, I had to clear it through Gwen. I didn't tell Gwen, I had to clear it. And she was okay with yeah, it, she gave she was permission. okay with it, yeah. Okay. Carson, obviously you guys are still working together. Yeah. Were you surprised when Blake said he was gonna leave The Voice? I had really, you know, secretly hoped he was gonna leave sooner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a lot at this point. I mean, he, he can't hear. There's like a time, like I remember my grandfather uh, drove and he parked in the driveway next to our house. He was in the wrong house. And it was like, God, that's time for grandpa to stop driving. That's what it's like with Blake. Like we start the show and I'm like, welcome to The Voice. And I'm like, let's talk to our coaches. Blake, what advice did you give your team today? And he goes, huh? Yeah. I think that has more to do with just the sound of your voice. <laughs> it's like, I wanted to do a show with Nikki Bella anyway, sure. you know, and, and have you heard her sing? She was not gonna make it on The Voice. I'm telling you, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she sucks, gonna... you know what I'm saying? It's but bad. she can kick some butt. Are you gonna yeah, double as the bouncer? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm a bouncer, for sure. And how do you keep them in line? I can't, I've tried. I do my best. There's too much but love just, going on here at Barmageddon. Yeah. We just like to have fun. We're not having enough fun in this country. It's like, I'm not a part of the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, I'm part of the cocktail party. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's what Barmageddon is. <laughs>